Hi everyone, Marta here from Royal Page Solutions. Just on my office, Friday night, and I was just having a conversation with one of my clients and friends um, in regards to the market. She said she has a couple of friends that are currently listed and they are definitely not getting any showings um, and things are seeming a little bit slow for them. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to kind of go over and review what's happening in the market right now um, what we've seen in the past couple of months and um, take it from there okay so here so here we are at our boardroom welcome and what I have done here is I have set up the latest stats that I have on hand these are part of the mail outs I do to all my clients um, present and past that let them know kind of what's going on so let's take a look at january what we started out with okay so as you can see over here it tells us that we were definitely in the buyer's market six and a half months of inventory okay that means we have a lot of listings um and nothing is really moving as you can tell everything is down the only thing that is up is the attached sector and this is comparing last the month beforehand so december compared to december um the pricings went up 2.4 percent okay that's just comparing month to month overall compared to last year they were still down a little bit 0.8 percent and overall we're seeing that townhouses and duplexes are definitely one of our top sellers right now so they didn't get as hard hit um, the hardest hit, however, was the apartment sector at 8.2% down, okay? Now, let's compare it to February, okay? We see that months of inventory is at 5.04 months, okay? So, that shows that there have been an increase in sales, um, less listings, and overall, things look like they have picked up a little bit, okay? So price increases in all the sectors except for the condo, once again, uh, down 0.1% compared to last year this month, okay? The other thing that is really important to note um, is the history of the real estate market. Down here below, we have the numbers for the activity and the sales that have happened and the growth in real estate since 1988, okay? So 1988 all the way to 2016, as you can tell, we are definitely in the red, okay? Second year, um, good news to think about though is that we are in the second year. So as you can tell, in the history of real estate, um, there have been obviously downturns, but they haven't lasted longer than that. So that's something to keep in mind. We are hoping and expecting that this will be the last year in the downturn and that we should see improvement as we go forward, okay? So another thing to look at as well is what the actual sales have been up to the end of February. Um, 1,892 total solds this year up to this point. Point, okay I mean it has increased now because we are in March and I will have the March stats for us um, in about two weeks okay so once the March ends I will be able to have the analysis on that the other interesting thing to note is what is happening in terms of sales overall so the greatest amounts are happening obviously in the 300 to 500 range okay so there have been 490 properties that have sold in the 300 to 400 range and then 478 in the 400 to 500 range everything else it kind of decreases as you go up in price um, and as you go down in price so in the 500 to 600 range, 14.01% in sales. So 265 listings have sold. And, you know, if you're looking in the million dollar range, we're at 37 sales. So not too bad, but still a little bit low. But it shows that things are still happening. Um, they're just not as crazy as we are used to seeing before, okay? Another important thing here you'll see is days on market. So there has been an improvement um, in terms of what happened 
in January. So right now we're in February, 43 days on the market is kind of the average that's happening. Last month in, or two months ago in January, we were at 50 days. So things are looking like they're picking up a little bit. Um, however, overall things are slow, okay? And you do have to keep things into perspective. I mean, in February we had 5,681 listings and from that only 1,127 had sold, okay? So from the seller's perspective, you know, pricing is key. Like not every property is gonna sell. Just because you put on the MLS market doesn't mean that you're gonna be successful, okay? Okay, so to sum things up, um, you know, it is a fascinating market out there right now and there is a huge disconnect sometimes between the sellers and the buyers, okay? Uh, from the selling side, you really, really have to be careful about your price. You cannot be overpriced. Buyers will not come and look at your properties, okay? And from the buying side, you do have to be realistic, okay? So. Um, check your numbers, work with a professional. If you need help, obviously call me. I'd love to help. 403-667-7220 and hope you enjoyed and we'll see you again next time. Okay, bye-bye.